To rock and roll with a kickoff. And here comes Dubby from Philadelphia. Rocking those Eagles jerseys. Got Eagles and Bears, always a good time. So first and 10 at the 24. Key opening drive here for Dubby. This is a game that's either going to be really close or it can get out of hand early. It could get out of control. Dubby, we look at the way he plays. He's no, the number three uh, a passing player in this entire tournament, so we know he can put points up in a hurry. So first and 10 from the 24. Dubby will start with a run. Luckily to get back to the line of scrimmage, he'll gain half a yard. Yeah, and Dubby, he said, you know, he's already played stick work 17 times this season. So these guys are very familiar with how they play. Uh, this is going to be a matchup where these guys are mirroring what they, each other are going to do. And Carr will just throw it away. So that's going to bring up a third and nine already. Stickwork has the opportunity to, with a stop here to bring up a crucial fourth down on the opening drive. Carr in the gun. He's got Moss over there in the slot in the bunch formation. Carr, got to get rid of it. In a one-handed grab by Randy Moss. That was a beautiful play design on both sides of the ball. Stick work disguises his blitz right there. You can see the pressure going on the quarterback, but you get the ball up to that Randy Moss. We talked at the top of the broadcast. Does Randy Moss have a big day to start this game? Yes. Sins Cooks wide out to the right. Decides to check it down, but good coverage there by Stick work. Gobbling them up at the line of scrimmage. And you're going to see a lot of cover two in this game, Scott. So that means these two deep safeties right there and right there, they're the guys that are going to be protecting the deep part of the field. On the offensive side of the ball for Dubby, look to attack the sidelines. Quick throw. And Cooks, although he's got speed, sometimes the hands are questionable. Yeah, see, that's the guy that I'm a little worried about in this game is Brandon Cooks out in that, uh, that slant position. He's supposed to catch all these passes underneath, but he has a difficult time catching uh, uh, the passes in traffic. Third and ten stick work using Mark Barron as his user. And he'll throw it toward the sideline. And here comes our first fourth down of the game. If you're stick work, this is you got to feel good about this. You get Dubby into a fourth and ten situation already early in this game. If you're Dubby, watch for a, a deep sideline corner, the right part of the field over there where that circled area is. Butler out to the left, shotgun formation. Ball at the 40, big fourth and ten. Car rolling right. Got to get rid of it. That's not going to be enough. And actually, he's going to be out of bounds. So it's a turnover on downs. And Stickwork has passed the first test. That's a great stop to start this game for Stickwork. And you know what? This gentleman right here, Stickwork, he might be the 100th ranked player in the world. But he has played halfback for his football team in his high school. He was a starting halfback for his team. 75 carries, 800 yards on the ground rushing for him in his senior high school season. And AP trying to go to work. It runs into a slew. The Dubby defenders, Jones in there on the tackle. You know what else is pretty impressive about this kid's stick work? Guy set a record at his high school for squats. 470 pounds. Woo. Savage. Let's see if he can take some of that physical strength and put some mental strength to use. Ball at the 42nd and 10. Goes back to the running game. And a good run there, third and four. Just on the edge of field goal territory. That's for a quick route over the middle of the field with the tight end. Right about there, that's a good spot typically where these tight ends can cause some havoc here. And McDonald in there at tight end. And finds AP. It's all day show for Adrian Peterson, and he'll pick up the first down. Yeah, that was good check and release route out of the backfield. He threw the ball to him. AP did the rest of the work there. But when you get into manageable third and short situations, that's how you're able to convert at a high clip. Both these players do well in third downs. Alex Smith gets rid of it quickly. And Peterson still on his feet. Now he's down to the 12-yard line. Yeah, and, and he's taking what Dubby is giving to him. He's just throwing to the flat, being very conservative. And, and you're going to take that all day if Dubby gives it to you. 
Moves down to a pistol formation here and first and 10 from the 12. Bunch to the right, Jordy Nelson wide to the left. A Little bit of motion. And Adrian Peterson, nothing more frustrating when you make all those adjustments and it gets absolutely blown up. Yeah, you, you, you call that some gamesmanship right there. You, you, maybe some fake hot routes in there trying to get your opponent off guard, but beautiful run defense from Dubby there to get a three yard loss. So Smith will go to the air, throws a high point, and James pulls it in for the touchdown. And Stickwork takes an early lead. Yeah, and what he did right there, he runs a vertical from the tight end to stretch the interior part of the field. He gets Dubby clamping down over the middle of the field, and just like that, this is the start for stick work that he wanted, and he certainly is sticking to the keys of the game in this one where he is forgetting the pass. He may have played W 17 times previously, but he's forgetting all those losses, and he's trying to get a win here today. Well, he was in an absolute hell game. Tough. Over there with Joe Rice. Unbelievable way that game ended. He was going for that game-winning drive, as you were saying, at the top of the broadcast, and just quick little pass to the flat, fumble, game's over. Well, now here's the number one passing offense in the tournament. Trying to get W in gear. Trailing by a touchdown. And high points it to Randy Moss. With some good D on the back end. There's Branch to break it up. Out the gate, two for seven with Carr. Moss, another drop. This is becoming an emerging theme in this game. Bunch has not fared well today. It struggled, and a lot of these guys are, are accustomed to seeing it, and I think that's part of the reason why. Trey Wayne's in there on the hit. That'll pick up four. So on third and six, as Rudolph catches his first pass of the game. We're seeing great defense right now from Stickwork. He's faking pressure from that slot defender in there, then he's also bringing pressure on the outside corner, making it difficult for W to determine where it's coming from. Quick throw out to the edge. Almost broke the tackle, and... Here comes another key, fourth down, fourth and two, and they're gonna go with a little pace here, Gibbs. Yeah, watch again, C.J. Anderson. If Anderson's covered, watch for Butler, the deep route behind him. Little high, low read at the left edge. Another fourth down, his second one, did not get the conversion the first time. Throws across the field, and Randy Moss is there at the 47, move the chain. Just beautiful football right here. He has an inside short pattern, then a backside corner behind it. Dubby drops to the inside route, leaves that corner wide open. Good pressure. Here comes the heat, and just got to sort of throw it away. Yeah, that's good. He, I mean, the way he's setting this up, so the best players in the world, the way they play defense, they allow themselves to generate pressure off the left side of the field or the right side of the field. So watch this defender there. That's the guy that wants to bring pressure. And then this defender there, he's going to bring pressure off the right edge. But the problem is you can never determine which guy is coming, and that's what makes it difficult. Second and ten now. Carr. And he'll throw it away once again. Just... Nothing open thus far for Dubby. Yeah, doing a great job protecting the sidelines. What really has been open for Dubby are these short underneath patterns. Both these players are, are playing somewhat conservative and, and giving those underneath routes uh, as an option. But just as we saw Boogs earlier, Boogs really threw the ball all the way downfield in that group A. That's part of the reason why he's going home. You got to see Dubby start checking down a little bit here. So third and ten. Carr, quick throw. Did not get his feet in bounds, so that's going to bring up fourth and ten. It's a tough spot here. You can see that he's going to go with a punt here. This is you know, not not a bad call here. You, you've already shown that your offense has kind of stalled out a couple drives here. Going for a punt early in this one. He's going to turn it over to his defense, and it's not a favorable punt. This will go into the end zone. It'll be a net punt of 33 yards. Yeah, that's a, a little miscued. Probably all the, all the times you don't practice your punting, but Dubby needs a rebound here, a big stop defensively here. Great drive, last possession from Stickwork. He was one for two on fourth down. Sort of a surprise to see him punting it near midfield. Goes back to Adrian Peterson. Big time hit but able to secure the football at the 21. Yeah, whenever you get your offensive lineman uh, pulling, always a great uh, a, a way to run the ball in the interior part of the field. A little counter run right there from Stickwork. Now in this situation, you got trips to the right. Watch for McDonald again. He can run a vertical in the middle of the field, or he could also run a quick slant over the middle of the field. Quick throw to McDonald. Good call there, partner. That's the where to go, and that'll take us 
to the end of the first quarter. We move to quarter number two. We've seen some surprises already today. Stick work with a 7 0 lead. I really, I, I think I'm surprised most how we're seeing Randy Moss get into the passing game. Dubby's looking to get him the ball early and often. Moss and Cooks have both let him down already in this first quarter with a couple big drops. Big third and two, pistol formation. Twins to the left. And he'll go to the air. Smith. Good user. And goes to Jordy Nelson and. Sort of looked like Dubby had his user in the right spot. Yeah, he did have his user in the right spot, but I think that throw was thrown underneath a little bit, that where Dubby was going upfield a, a, a tad there, and that's where you're going to see it. But right now, Stickwork 48 yards passing through the air versus Dubby's 38 yards. But Stickwork, the only one with a touchdown thus far. Yeah, Alex Smith is 5 for 5. Nice spin move, and AP gets loose. He's at the 30, the 20, 10. Touchdown, Stickwork. I mean, this is really just a tail of the top five players right here. AP off the edge, he spin moves, broken tackle, and then he's gone. But right now what we're seeing is the, the top five players from both of these teams, we're seeing Adrian Peterson step up, make the big plays. We're not, we're not seeing from Dubby's side of the field is guys like Randy Moss, Brandon Cooks, when are they going to make the big play for him? Well, when's the last time you've seen Dubby down 14? Here early in the second quarter. It's gonna be a big drive. Did not get a favorable draft. Not get the running game he wanted. And he'll try to use yeah, yeah, that didn't. base C.J. Anderson, and that's just not getting the job done. Yeah, he didn't get the, the, the players he wanted, but he also didn't get his, his main uh, offense, right? So he's running a different style offense than he's accustomed to. He can still run some of the same style of uh, a scheme, but overall, it's not what he's accustomed to running. So the question is, is that now affecting him? Coming up on four minutes remaining in the first half, second and ten. Carr, quick throw. Brandon Cooks, he's got some speed. And he gets out to the 44. Oh, uh, you see why that Brandon Cooks is so special. He catches that little quick pass over the middle of the field, and you can see the separation once he gets the catch or the yards after the catch. Bunch to the right. Motion Cooks on first and ten. Carr's got to get rid of it. Boy, he threw that into some traffic. Yeah, I like the idea of, of motioning out the, the, the quick dig route to uh, uh, Cooks, but right now we got to start running a, a mesh of routes from the left to right. He's running everything with the bunch to the right side of the field. It's allowing stick work to key in on it. Carr on second and ten. Throws it down the sideline, and that's another overthrow. Yeah, and he did have a receiver open underneath the backside. Uh, dig route again was open. Uh, you see right here, he goes downfield and sails it out of bounds once again. Derek Carr, 6 for 16 in this first half. After that loss to Skimbo then early in this one, looks like he's struggling a little bit with his timing. And that bunch offense, third and 10, trailing by 14. Quick throw. And a big time hit. That's true font coming up and laying the wood. Yeah, and what you saw in that last possession there, you see that he moved, W moved his halfback from the left of the quarterback to the right of the quarterback. What that is telling me is that he's not feeling comfortable picking the pressure up off the right edge without utilizing his halfback. The stick work recognize that and now send pressure off that right edge. Well, he didn't punted it last time on fourth down. He's one for two today. Tries to get down and he will. Boy, he is really locked in on Randy Moss. Had a guy wide open on the drag with the first down. But finds Randy Moss to move the chain. Yeah, Moss is the guy that needs to step up big for you here if you're Dubby. Watch for another vertical in the middle of the field here. Quick play action. Nice little pass up the sideline. And Butler hauls it in at the 12. It's a great route combination off that left edge. You had the halfback and the delay pattern. And then the deep sideline route gets behind that flat zone and is able to get a big conversion for him. This is the area of the field where you watch out for guys like Moss. The back of the end zone where you want to get them the ball. Give it to him in a, a, a high ball. The back of the end zone. Only where they can catch it. So first and ten now. In the red zone. And Carr comes out of the pocket there and runs to the six yard line. Derek Carr. A little elusiveness right there. He, he does have the mobility. That helps you in the red zone here. Watch back of the end zone again. 
Of course, his brother David was a heck of a player for the Texans. Didn't have an offensive line, though. And CJ will be bottled up at the four-yard line, third and two. You know, it's so difficult to score in this part of the field, and part of the reason for it is when, you're, when you have the ball backed up, you, you have the whole length of the field, and it's more of a game of uh, a, a vertical game from uh, – end zone to end zone. When you get into this red area, the game now becomes a horizontal game. Your deep defenders don't have to worry about as much over the top, so they're able to clamp down on everything underneath. Third and two from the four. To the air again, to the back of the end zone. That's going to bring up fourth and two. What do you do? Do you take the points? You got right now, the ball to start the game. Yeah, right now, when you're because you're down two touchdowns, I like the, I like the play call to go for Ooh. the touchdown, but putting points up on the board, y your momentum, you need this to get in rhythm in the flow of the game, right? If you if you don't convert there, it, it just can hurt your psyche. So those first points are so difficult to come by in most of these games. So I like the play call from Dubby to put points on the scoreboard. The stick work got some push on that field goal coming off. Seen that could have been disastrous. Saw a block field goal Here's early. Conley. And why not? Kickers are people, too. They get in on the tackle. He's, he needed to make a tackle there. That was one man to beat. We could have seen a repeat of that last game where Skimbo crib shot. Well, if you're just showing us, we're in Group B action. Both these guys 0-1. It's sort of a winner-go-home mentality here in stick work. Number 100 in the world has an 11-point lead over the number one seed in all of Madden W. Yeah, in stick work, not only was a halfback for his high school football team, but he was also a free safety. He said that, believe it or not, that real-life football helped him understand Madden better, and then Madden also helped him understand real-life football better. And the reason for it was all the visual cues that Madden gives you. It really helped him in the, on the real gridiron. Yeah, you can see that football acumen, but Dubby bringing the blitz, and that's going to be third and 20. Yeah, I like the pressure right here from Dubby. You know, he's 62% of the time likes to bring pressure right there off that edge. You can see gets the big sack there to a long third down. So third and a mile for stick work. 96 seconds left in the half. Smith. Good pressure. You go to Peterson. Safe throw. Big time hit stick. Alex Smith. Six for six. And Dubby will use his final timeout. Yeah, that's a smart timeout. He's going to get the ball back here. But when you get into those third and long situations, you can really dial up the pressure. You guys saw there was delayed pressure off that edge. He had to check down uh, stick work in the flat. And now Dubby, just like that, is going to get another chance here to make this a 14-10 ball game. Cooks. Oh, wow. Great open field tackle at the 23-yard line. And that's where your Madden Bowl champ will go to work, trailing by 11. No, that was, that was the stop he needed. A minute 20, all the time in the world to uh, start attacking some of this cover two style defense. I'd like to see him ver attack vertically down the sidelines a little bit more on this drive. Carr sets its feet, throws deep, and should have been picked off by Mark Barron. He was looking for Cooks up the seam and didn't have enough on it. Yeah, and once again, Cooks. Not coming up with the big play. And Carr will just throw it away, and Dubby will face a third and ten. Third and ten spot now right here. Watch for routes that go develop and break over the middle of the field. Also watch for the deep sideline patterns uh, off the left edge. Randy Moss, the guy that Dubby wants to target on this play. Third and ten. And there's the pressure again. And I tell you what, number one or number 100, the difference between these guys are right now razor thin, but stick work is getting the best of the champ. Yeah, and what we're seeing is the inability to convert on these third down situations right now for Dubby. Uh, I mean, he's moving the ball. He's been able to get a couple plays go his way. Uh, but when he gets into those crucial third down situations, just hasn't really been able to put the big play together. Uh, you, you ask yourself, well, you know he didn't have the, the draft where he got his team he wanted or his playbook. I think that might be starting to affect him here. We can tell our grandkids one day, we were at the game where Dubby punted twice. <laughs> That's a big time move. First and ten, under a minute. 
Starting to dial him up now, though. Sky starting to bring the pressure. I like that 62% of the time, Dubby likes to blitz. That's 11th in this tournament, so doesn't typically send the heat all the time, but when he does, you're going to come from this defender there and that defender there. Watch this defender. He moved him out a little bit to outside left edge. Second and 10. 54 ticks on the clock before the half. And reminder, Stickwork's going to get the ball to start the half. Quick throw out to Adrian Peterson. Stiff arms one. Boy, he's been really tough to take down. And he's going to break up a third and one, and he uses a timeout there. Yeah, AP's been a monster all game. Now you get into a third and one. Quarterback sneak, halfback power, the entire middle of the field's open. Goal line formation, and they'll hand it to AP. Gets a block on the power O. That'll move the chains. And he'll use his second timeout, one remaining with 41 seconds to go. And if you're stick work, how good does a field goal look right now? You got one timeout in your back pocket. You need to get to out the 30 to feel confident uh, in converting a field goal here. Smith, another safe throw. Yeah, and I, I like what to I'm the 46, and you got to go quick. Yeah, I love what I'm seeing here. He's he's using Peterson as, on a backside uh, a flat pattern from here to there, and it's because W is potentially bringing these outside corner blitzes, and when he does that, that's going to open up that flat pattern. And Jadavion Clowney was coming off the edge, and an incomplete pass will bring up third and four. Clock stop with 19 seconds to go. Yeah, third and four, you can go to uh, quick patterns over the middle of the field. Watch for your a tight end again. McDonald on the last time we saw. Maybe keep him in for pass protection. But the big route to watch out for, Jordy Nelson over the deep middle of the field. Big third down at the 46. Smith. And that's an interception by Dubby. Looked like it might have went through the hands of Nelson. He has no timeouts, but he has the ball at the 38 with 13 seconds to go. That's exactly what he needed to get into. You saw Stickwork did go to that route over the middle of the field to Nelson. All your defenders deep here if you're Stickwork. You can't let anything get behind him. Got to keep the guys in bounds, oh, too. touch pass. Throws it back the other way. Get out of bounds. And he'll get out of bounds at the 40. That's a 57-yarder from there. And we already talked about we're playing draft champions mode, so you, you don't get the choice for a kicker like a Justin Tucker that can nail it home, so you got to go for it. For Randy Moss on this play. This is your guy. This is why you got a Randy Moss in these situations. Randy Moss on the right side of your field, right sideline. Final play of the half. Good pressure. Needs some miracles. And can't get the swerve done. He throws it 25 times. In the first half, only completing 10. And Stickwork, on the other hand, has been absolutely just a consistent play. Been very effective in the, in the offensive game for Stickwork. So at the half, 14 to 3, let's go to Tyler and the gang. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate that. This was kind of a shocker. Tubby down, Tubby down. Uh, do you think... Being at the high that he was at the Madden Bowl coming into this, do you think he was maybe a little bit too loose? And this is why we're seeing him underperform? There's a reason why no one has won back-to-back -back live championships before. And we see it. Everybody here is here for a reason. These guys are amazing. We're looking at the best players in the world. And right now you're having just great competition. He's wasn't overconfident. This guy prepares. It's draft champions. It's a different mode. He's not playing his best right now. The thing I'm surprised about is stick work is actually succeeding with his offense. Everybody knows he has a great defense, but he didn't get his playbook. He doesn't have his formation. So the fact that he's got 14 already is going to make it tough for W to climb back, but he's got a fighter's chance. He has no other choice. All right, well, let's take a look and see what was happening in the other match uh, where you have Skimbo and Joe Rice taking each other on. Zach? Skimbo started it out with a field goal in this one, but Joe Rice came down the field with a little dot. He ended up adding three, and then Skimbo was driving down just before the half. Joe Rice, did he lurk it? Interception, and this one sits 3-3 in the third quarter, but Skimbo's got the ball. He's down in the red zone, and he's trying to punch it in so he could be taking the lead, and a 2-0 record if he can punch this in and seal it. A lot of football left to be played, and you know what? Don't miss any of it. Always catch up on all the highlights from the Madden Challenge on YouTube.com slash EA Sports. 
at all those highlights we go over. And Zach, you do such a wonderful job of calling those highlights. I always appreciate that. Uh, and we love some advice from these players as well. So let's uh, hear some advice from Skimbo. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Skimbo. And my advice to you, if you want to be a better Madden player, just put in the time and effort. Whatever you want to be good at, you got to put in the time. All right, we have more action to come. The second half of Dubby and Stick Work. And actually, right now, our very own Drea Avent is down on the field with Dubby. Drea? I am actually with Stick Work. Stick Work, amazing job in the first half, 11 point lead over the best play Madden player in the world. What's been the mentality behind your success so far? Uh, playing conservative and uh, just making sure I stop my own defense. I think my defense is playing really well against what he's running. I think I prepared well, so, yeah. Well, you, well, you know that Dubby is the best player in the world, the Madden Bowl champion. You know he's not gonna give up without a fight. Can you keep this going and keep the pressure on? Yeah, yep, definitely. Confidence! Let's send it to Scott and Gibbs. Good to hear from my good friend, Dre, and we got a good one in this one. 14 to three, I don't care what you're ranked. Stick work is putting in the work. Yeah, he's doing a great job of forcing Dubby to go downfield. We just like we saw Boogs, how Boogs got uh, exited from this tournament. We got to start seeing Dubby check down a little bit more. Go to your underneath patterns. You're running uh, these flat patterns to your halfback. Get the ball to them a little bit more. Get the ball to your tight end over the short part of the field. That'll open up some of those deep routes downfield. Well, Dubby trailing by 11 to that man on the right. Stick work has been. It's too easy to say. He's been putting in work. We talked about it. In the group stage, in the online group stage, he beat the number two player in the world, Problem. Now he's got the number one player in the world on the ropes. Shouldn't be any surprise, really. When you look at how well he performed in that group stage, it goes two and one, he beats Problem and lights out. Job well done, young man. And lost a close one to Beast Mode Mac, who we've already seen is very tough. Getting out of the Group A stage along with Scheming. So those guys will be playing on the weekend. The question right now is, will the number one player in the world, Dubby, be joining us on the weekend? How important of a drive is this to get out of the second half? Put up some points here if you're stick work. Alex Smith, not a safe pass. He's yeah. nine for 12 and at some point, that, what was that? Was that a Todd? Uh, yeah. No, no, no. He, listen, <laughs> yeah, that's a great read. We'll talk about that at the end of this play. I, I want to go over that. We will, but third and 19 spot. Third and 19. Nice adjustment by Dubby coming out of the locker room. And now he's got him backed up to the 16-yard line. Good Alex sir. Smith. And whatever's Dubby changed, just like that, Fourth and 18. Right, so what's happening on there, you can see the delayed blitz outside from a, the far corner on the right sideline. Stick work is recognizing that W is sending that corner as, on a blitz. So what stick work is now doing is he's flaring his halfback from the opposite side of the quarterback to get him to open space towards that blitz. But W recognized that and he manned up the halfback with his cornerback on the opposite side. That's where you're seeing the, the defense adjust. That's where you see Dubby gets a stop. He's got the ball back. He's in business. First and 10, press coverage on the outside. Dubby needing a score. And a nice job finding the tight end out to the 46-yard line. He's in plus territory. And there we go. Dump the ball off to your tight end over the middle of the field. Let's get Cooks involved. You got Cooks for a reason. All that speed, he can separate once he catches the ball. Utilize your tight end on quick ins and outs, and then you can start attacking those verticals downfield. Yeah, it doesn't have a running back. That's C.J. Anderson. Didn't draft a running back, but it's got a great core of wide receivers. First and 10, going back to work. And Carr just got rid of it. Yeah, up in the tempo right now, this one here is, we'll take a look. Step of the, drop of the pocket there, pressure off the edge, collapses on his quarterback. We're gonna do a second and long spot now for Dubby. Again, let's focus on checking down, get these short patterns underneath. He's had a lot of second and longs, third and longs, fourth and longs. Not been effective on first down, and there's a fumble! And I love to see the fat boys run, because I'm a fat guy myself. 
He takes it to the 41. And, and, and there was, again, pressure that gets a block shed that creates the, the, the fumble. But W had to open Brandon Cooks in that right flat. He ought to wait for the downfield vertical, and he gets into a tough spot once again. Lucky to only lose a yard and retain possession. Third and 11. Great user downfield. He's going to force it anyway. And there's Darius Randall to pick him off. Yeah, and right here you're going to see it once again. Time in the pocket. He throws the ball directly into the defender's hands. He wanted that deep dig, uh, but wasn't able to get the ball to him in uh, for the conversion. And another turnover here for Dubby. Stick work trying to win my heart. Bears uniforms to go in high formation. And Peterson with a nice run to the 42. And, and when you have, you're playing with a lead like this, you start giving the ball to your halfback, start ticking away some of that clock here. Uh, if you're stick work, get yourself to a one-on-one -on -one record. How crucial is that? Can't go 0-2 here if you're Dubby. Yeah, both these guys 0-1 here in Group B. For C and D coming your way tomorrow. We've already had a full slate of games. It's been some absolutely fabulous Madden as Peterson takes it to the 49. 10 carries for 92 yards and a touchdown. Yeah, I love the way that uh, stick work is utilizing these runs worth pulling offensive linemen. It's great going up against this dollar defense that you're seeing from Dubby. The pulling offensive linemen are able to kick out and pick up this, the pressure that's coming off the edges, and that opens up running lanes in the interior part of the field. It's absolutely phenomenal recognition from stick work. So third and uh, second and three, and it's a fullback dive to Jennings. He gets on the plus side of the 50, and that's going to bring up a crucial third and one. Take a look right here, Dubby. Look at that play right there. That's a very aggressive run blitz style of defense. Does the recognition now we're seeing stick work pick up on a lot of these signals that we're seeing in this game. Does he see that, and does he now do a quick little quick pass out of the backfield uh, from this goal line set? So third and one. Getting heavy with it. And I don't think Alex Smith got maybe a few inches. Oh, he's going, though. Oh, he's going. Fourth and one. You wouldn't be here if you didn't have a play for fourth and one. Once again, W goes to that aggressive uh, uh, run stuff style defense. A lot of times in these spots here, when you get real aggressive defensively, oh, you open yourself up to a quick slant inside. Under a minute to go in the third. I formation this time. Two tight ends on the right with a full back, and Peterson dots the eye. And a great pull. Goes to the weak side and picks up the first down. Yeah, and that's where you see that pulling lineman, right? And he put his tight end in motion as well. It looks like that defender is going to get in the backfield, but then the pulling lineman gets there, and a steal, and he gets the first down. And AP breaks a tackle, and uh-oh! There goes Peterson to the house, and all of a sudden the champ is on tilt. Yeah, and Scott, I know you said at the top of the show this game could get ugly, but I don't know if we were anticipating it getting ugly in this direction. Right now, stick work up 21 to 3 against the champ. You know, we talked about the 17 games these uh, competitors played previously, uh, and W was 13 and 4 going against stick work in all those games. But when you take a look at these uh, past five games, stick work has won two of them. Well, so nice. Let's, we got to look at it twice. AP doing a nice job shaking and baking and taking it to the house. Yeah, a couple broken tackles, a couple patience. Gets out of the pocket and he just takes off. AP having a big day for stick work. Yeah, well over 100 yards and now down by 18. That's three scores, kids, and he throws it away. You know, you're really starting to kind of see the emergence of of the run game is starting to dominate here in this tournament. Uh, you know, we saw a guy like Ha Shugs who, who is actually didn't advance, but he ran the ball really effectively uh, on the ground. So the run game, it seems to be a strategy that a lot of these guys are using here in this draft champions tournament. Second and 10, ball at the 25. And he'll work his way to the marker. And he'll bring up a first and 10, and Dubby. Looking concerned. And Anderson to end the quarter. And now you got second and five 
He got five minutes to get back at this one. Well, you're going to need Derek Carr to start having a better performance throwing the rock all over the field because right now he's just completing many passes at a high percentage it's for Dubby. Looking downfield and great defense by Mark Barron. Up the seam. Yeah, and another incomplete pass. 12 for 31. A quick update on the stats. 149 yards passing so far for Dubby in this one, but no touchdowns. Yeah, 12 of 29. And there is a huge sack. Yeah, and here we go. Fourth and 17. This is all but it for Dubby. I mean, big time way to get a spot here. You can see pressure again is going to be a block shed in the interior part of the line. No receivers open. Once again, takes a big sack to fourth and long. Well, it's fourth and maybe the game. 17 yards. He needs it. Carr. Good D. Throws it, finds Randy Moss. He's been in security blanket all day long, and that'll move the sticks. Yeah, that's the conversion that Dubby needed. He's been targeting that corner to Randy Moss a few times in this game, and he finally gets a big conversion with him. Just shy of the 50, trailing by 18. Throws it into coverage, and true font. Couldn't put his mitts on it. Yeah, and where I'm starting to see what is really causing all these problems is, is, is these two defenders. It's difficult to key in on that defender there, and then this defender here matched up near Moss. Which one of them is coming to generate pressure? This time it comes off the right edge. It makes it extremely difficult to understand where the pressure is coming from. And if you don't block the appropriate tight end or the appropriate halfback, it will generate pressure and force mistakes. And that is exactly what we're seeing in this game. 13 of 34. Ouch. So watch this right here. Dubby's got perception off the left edge, but pressure's coming right. And this one falls to the turf. And I get it. You're down 18. It's time to use the force. You start chucking the ball all over the field, but I mean, phenomenal job the way Stickwork is changing up his defensive play calls here. He brought pressure off that right edge this last time. Now, now does he cue it up off this left edge here? Right there, those defender off that left edge. Does he bring the pressure there? to generate a, a mistake from Dubby. Converted the last time on fourth down, gets rid of it, and once again, just pretend every down's fourth down, bro. And, and you're gonna start converting, but you can see that pressure comes off that left edge. Dubby had his halfback in the block at the right edge, and that's where he wasn't able to pick the pressure up. Got the ball out quick for the conversion, but again, good defense here from Stickwork. Bunch to the right. Pressure. Time becoming the enemy, and sure, just throw it in qu triple coverage. Seems like a good thing. Yeah, it's always a good thing to throw in a triple coverage. I mean, sometimes it, Madden is easy, sometimes Madden is hard, but right now for Dubby, Madden is extremely hard at this point. <laughs> He's got to keep his head in the ball game here, though, try to put some points up because every point matters. Every point matters in terms of point differential. If he does fall down in this game, going 0 and 2, he needs to take a look at it. the other game uh, between Joe Rice and Skimbo, potentially see how that will unfold. So, still a lot to go here between uh, uh, Dubby and Stickwork. Well, a little bit of technical difficulties. Uh, we've.